hello guys in this video i will be showing you how to fine tune unto model on your own custom data set by using free gpu from google colab you can use the same instructions on your local system if you want to the tool which i am going to use for this fine tuning is called as unsloth i have covered unsloth a lot on my channel so please search it on the channel and you should be able to find a lot of videos around it i will also share the link to the google colab courtesy to daniel han of unsloth you can use it now if you look at this unto i already have shown you how to get it installed on linux windows test uh, i have done on various variants of this model this was just released few hours ago unto is a company from alibaba and they have the released these family of models in various sizes including 0.5 billion 1.5 billion and then 72 billion and as you can see they come in both base model and also instruction tune chat model and we are going to use a smaller model just to speed things up so let me take you to my google colab as you can see that this is a google colab let's go to runtime and change the runtime to t4 gpu and click on save first step which we need to do is to install the unsloth and as i mentioned earlier that unsloth is one of the finest tool out there in order to do the fine tuning so let me start the installation let's click here and you see that it is just installing unsloth for the google colab so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long unsloth is installed let's grab our model with the help of unsloth so he has already converted it into the 4-bit which makes it easier to run it on this google colab and at the top we are just importing this fast language model and the pytorch we are setting the sequence length of this model to 2k and then we are not setting any d type and we are loading it in 4-bit and this is the model we are specifying so let's run it let's wait for it to finish it is going to load the model should it take too long there you see and it is also telling us that it is going to run it to enable two times faster fine tuning which is correct there you go it has done loading the model the model size is just 457 meg how good is that in 4 bit so not only it has downloaded the model but also it has downloaded the token and also has merged it and it has also added the special tokens that is done and now let's specify the LoRa adapters now before I run it it is important to understand what is happening here now first what is LoRa? LoRa stands for low rank adaptation it is a technique used in fine-tuning pre-trained language models to adapt to a specific task or data set without requiring a large number of additional parameters that is a key concept now in traditional fine-tuning the entire model is updated to fit the new task which can be computationally expensive and require a large number of data but in contrast low rank adaptation or LoRa involves adding a low rank matrix to the pre-trained model's weights which enables the model to adapt to the new task while keeping the number of additional parameters relatively small the low rank matrix is typically learned using a small amount of task specific data and is then added to pre-trained weights low rank adaptation has been shown to be effective a lot so this is what we are doing here and now if you look at these parameters for example this this is where we are specifying our model r is a rank of low rank approximation which controls the number of additional parameters added to the model in our case we are adding just 16 target modules are the list of modules that will be adapted using low rank approximation and there are a lot of projection layers in the model which we will be which will be adapted then lora alpha is 16 this is a hyper parameter that scales the learning rate for the low rank adaptation lora dropout is zero which is a dropout probability for the low rank adaptation it means there will be no dropouts bias is that uh, there will be bias or not we are not adding any bias we are setting gradient check pointed to unslot for speed it up and then uh, and this is to save memory during training and we are using unsloth method random state this is just a seed for the random number generator which we used in lora and then we are saying that okay we are 
uh, using this RS LoRa. Uh, we are not using this RS LoRa, which is a variant of low rank adaptation. And then we are also not using loft queue config. Let's run it. Shouldn't take too long. You see, it, it has bashed 24 layers and it was fairly quick. And now let's specify our data set. For data set, I'm just going with the Alpaca one. As you can see here, it is a very, very standard data set. And if you have your own data set, just make sure that it follows this structure, instruction, input, and response. And you should be good to go. So let's grab that from Hugging Face. It will take too long. It's not a huge one. It's a clean, small data set. You see that it is already downloading it. There you go. It has even generated the training and validation split. Okay. So we our model is ready. Our data set is ready. Now let's specify training parameters. In order to specify training parameter, all you need to do is to grab the supervised fine-tuning trainer from Hugging Face from the TRL uh, library, Transformer, Unslaws. We already have done it. These are the parameters which I told you earlier. Then just use all of these defaults for epochs you can use more or less whatever you like so and we are just saying that okay we are just specifying number of procedure proc so to two for data set and then this is up to you how much you want to use and this is adam w optimizer which is a very very default one and weight decay is this we, we are using linear scheduler and again the random number is 3401 and this is where our resultant fine-tuned model will go so let me run it we haven't started the training yet we're just setting up the trainer here it is just setting it up so let's wait for it to finish and it always tells you the ETA of setting it up it is almost there that is done and now let's start our training and in order to start training just run this trainer.train and that is going to start the training that coin model on your data set on the free GPU. And it is telling you that how many epochs there are. There is only one. These are the number of samples. And you will see that this training loss will keep coming down as it makes back propagation. It is also telling you the ETA, and this might vary depending upon the speed of the GPU and the size of the data set but for now it is just telling it uh, just under seven minutes and you see if i scroll down our training loss is coming down it means that model is getting fine-tuned and making good progress so let's wait for it to finish fine-tuning is almost done as you can see that eta is just under 10 seconds now and if i scroll down here you will see that this loss is coming down has come a lot in all of these which is really good you see this means that model is getting trained quite nicely you can just check it and while i was talking it is done so these are all the steps to fine tune a model on your custom set for free on google colab and if you want to save this model locally or send it to Hugging Face, all you need to do is to run either of these two commands. In order to save this model locally, just run this. Or if you want to push it to Hugging Face, simply run this. And of course, here you will be setting your Hugging Face token, which you can get it for free as a right token from Hugging Face. So this is it, guys. I will uh, drop the link to the code in beauty's description. Play around with it. Let me know how you go. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching